fear, confusion, pain, tears, hopelessness, isolation, death, domestic violence and sexual abuse. The problem is all around us. This happened February 19th of 2005. He had gone to Lisa's house that night. The minute he walked in the door, he, he hit her in the face. He brutally beat her until he had her on the ground and smothered her. And that's when Jaden walked in. And um, he killed Jaden also. Jaden was just a little boy and lots of fun, lots of fun. Lisa was my only child. She was six months pregnant with a little girl. When I was about 18, maybe 19 years old, I know my, my oldest brother went off to college, so I was the only person left in the home. And my two older sisters had moved on in relationships, still in South Florida. My sister was involved in a pretty bad car accident. She was in a lot of pain, but because of her pregnancy, she was really not capable of being mobile. One night, I remember distinctively that she called me and it wasn't her normal tone of voice. And she had called me and told me she just needed me over there immediately, but don't tell mom and dad. I remember walking into the, the bathroom and she was on the floor and it, there was a little bit of blood and I had thought maybe she had fallen. I, I helped her uh, walk back to the bed and talk to her a little bit. And she said that her husband beat her and uh, made kind of forced her to have sex with him even though that was against doctor's orders. Her emotions that night and the, the weight now that I carried, uh, I didn't know what to do. I was just a teenager. The cycle of domestic violence and abuse ultimately affects us all and leaves in its wake a haunted path of terror and devastation greater than any natural disaster. The cycle must stop. The need is real. It is urgent. The problem is solvable. In Tarrant County in 2009, we had almost 15,000 reported cases. And, you know, we, I think we all realize that the reported, that for every reported case, there's probably at least one that's not. Domestic violence and sexual abuse affect us physically, emotionally, and economically. If we had one facility, then every city wouldn't have to recreate the facility uh, or the services. North Texas is the fastest growing metropolitan region in America. The quality of life and economic vitality we enjoy today are unsustainable if we ignore complex social issues. A smart, comprehensive strategy for dealing with domestic violence and sexual assault is critical to controlling crime and violence. More than likely, and a lot of the studies have been done, have shown that that vicarious modeling that they get from the parents, that, that they learn that this is the way to be in a relationship. We know that about 70% of adults that are violent have experienced violence in the home themselves or were exposed to violence between their parents. Because of our explosive population growth and increasing lack of mobility, it is absolutely imperative we build one easily accessible place where victims of domestic violence and sexual assault can get the help they need. If we can drastically reduce the number of children who are growing up in homes where there is domestic violence, and we can do that with one safe place, then we're not just improving the lives of those individuals but we are building safer communities for the long haul. There are already outstanding services being provided in this community for victims of domestic violence and sexual abuse. The Alliance for Children, Safe Haven, the Women's Center, and many others are doing great work. One Safe Place won't duplicate these efforts. One Safe Place will provide the framework for greater collaboration and teamwork. The day we are successful here, and the day we open our doors, and the day I know that collectively our community came together to build such an amazing place, that'll be the day I call my sister and tell her I answered that painful memory.
to everybody who's involved, the donors, the people putting this together, the people who pioneered this, you know, the good folks from all the agencies who were collaborating and coming together and making this thing happen, is you are giving a lot of people their lives back. And that's gratifying. <laughs> And it's a beautiful thing, and thank you. The need is real. It is urgent. And it is time for action now. Join us and help break the tragic cycle of domestic violence and sexual abuse. Together, we will forge a living legacy of helping victims become survivors. We can change the future. My name is Joel Glenn. I'm chairman of the Safe City Commission. I'm in. After serving 15 years as a special agent for the United States Secret Service and 30 years as vice president and director of security for the Bass Companies, I can say this with authority. Building a family justice center is the most important crime prevention initiative we can implement. We have a spectacular performing arts center, a magnificent world-class zoo, amazing museums, great rodeo and livestock facilities, and the most extraordinary stadiums in the world. If we can build these masterpieces, we can accomplish this as well. When we open the doors to one safe place, our homes, our streets, and our communities will be safer for all of us. This is our vision. I really need your help. Can I count you in? I'm in. I am in. I'm in. I'm in. Are you in? I'm in. We're in. I'm 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 in. We're 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 in. Are you in? One safe place. We can change the future.